Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about universities. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Hi Frederick, what do you think about the statement you don't learn software engineering at university? Why don't reputed university teach their students about software design? Because most of them don't know how to do that and it takes years to be good to get good as a software in a software developer let me explain this a little bit so i i there's a lot of this like i think that one of the favorite uh, and i think this has mostly to do with prestige honestly there's a favorite debate between everybody who wants to be a software developer and everybody else like uh, the the people that i work with like we were talking about seniors so like there's it's not necessarily just the people who are trying to become software developers. There is a prejudice even in like in my uh, in my circles as well about university degree degree versus self-taught. There's always a discussion about those two things. Is it better to go to a university or should you just take some boot camps or something like that? And you've heard me say many times I've used the term uh, boot camp level developer. And people keep on asking me why I look, you know, why are you sort of are you trampling on people who take a boot camp? Uh, are you favoring universities? What is your stance? Are you university pro or boot camp pro? And I go, I believe that people who have the knack and the passion and the will to become software developers will get there regardless of if they go to university or a boot camp, because this is a talent industry, as I've said a hundred times now, and I will, I can write that on my tombstone. It's a talent industry. If you go to any university, you have no guarantees that you're going to be a software developer. None whatsoever. You only have a piece of paper showing that you completed a course. Just as the bootcamp developers, they don't have any guarantees either. Because, as I said, it comes down to you. How much work are you going to put in? Odds are that you won't get and I have gone to the I, guys I've done both the boot camps and I've done the university stuff as well and I can tell you that the people from the university they didn't all get work it's that simple I have a uh, one of my classmates had took the entire course again like he literally went back to school after not being able to get any job and I'm not even sure if he ever got tired because he he simply did not either either it was a talent thing or he didn't put in the work I'm not gonna say so much about that because I don't know but he didn't have what it took to break into the industry even with the university same thing goes for the boot campers if you don't meet the expectations then you're not gonna get any work and so that's the thing that I tell people there are I have tons of people that I work with that are self-taught just as I have tons of people who took a university degree. And I've said this on a few occasions, these topics, guys, they usually only mean something when you're trying to become a software developer. That's it. At my level, they don't even, like, it's like a joke. They don't, most of them don't look at, like, at my level, they don't look at your prior, like, your education. They look at how much work have you done, what roles have you had, uh, years of experience, things like that. That's the thing that matters. For juniors, it's a different story. And I will argue to you that it does not matter all that much. I usually tell people that if you want some help or have a more structured work environment, university can be a good thing. There are plenty of boot camps that are going to give you the same thing, but at the end of the day, guys, the university is just there, just as the boot camp. If you think that you're going to just take a boot camp and then you're done, like now you're a professional software developer, no, 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 no. These are the, they are going to teach you the basics, they're going to me give you introductions to all the concepts that you need to do, uh, to know about. But you're going to have to most likely work a lot in your spare time, or try your darndest to, at the very least, do get as much as possible out of the time that you spend at school, and do quite a lot of stuff. And the reason why they can't teach you all of that stuff in the university or the boot camp is because there's a million things to know. There is no way that you're going to learn. It's like asking, why, why can't a university teach a doctor to be a surgeon? Well, because some things are so difficult and take so much time and it, require all, it requires hands-on practice to learn that it's not possible for a standard education program to give you that. 
you might have to go several iterations before you get there. Why can't the university teach you to how to become a doctor, like a doctorate, or getting a doctorate in a field or something like that? Well, because it's a level of education that requires something that is without outside of the boundaries of what the standard education will give you. It's uh, why doesn't elementary school or like you know basic education give you a uh, university diploma? Well, because there has to be a cutoff point somewhere. Somewhere we have to say, yeah, this is in scope, this is not in scope. And so this is why I tell people that it just going to a university doesn't guarantee you that that's going to be a good university or that you're going to get a good education. Same as the boot camp. Uh, it's really just different approaches to getting the foundations in place. That's the thing that you should be looking for in your university and with your uh, like boot camps or whatever you're picking, right? The foundation skills are what you're looking to get. And because once you have that basic training, that really, really bare bones stuff, then you need to make yourself into a junior programmer. And usually you become a junior programmer by practicing yourself, fiddling around with like hobby projects and exploring new technologies and playing around with different tools and things like that. And then listening to guys like me and people who are a hundred times better at this stuff than I am to sort of get the hint of ah oh, okay cool I've been playing around with this stuff and this stuff but this guy here or that girl there they're doing this and that I should check that out as well that you continue your learning on your own volition because that is as I said that's the thing that gets you hired usually people don't hire junior software developers because they're super super massively skilled they hire them because they have passion potential and they know those basics that I've been talking about and that's all you get from boot camps that's all you get from the university if they're good now because I mean you can have a bad boot camp you can have a bad university that gives you irrelevant bullshit for an education it's hard to say but assuming that they are good educations and good institutions uh, they will give you those basics but the rest of it like the bridging the gap between those basics and getting to a level where people will take a chance on you that's mostly down to you and your own steam so what I want you to take away from this is that the reason why you don't learn software engineering, I completely agree with the statement, you don't learn it at the university, but you don't learn it in boot camps either. You learn it by doing. You will get the basic education from a university or a boot camp, but this is a talent industry, guys. It's the same thing with sports or something like that, where you can go to and practice football or hockey or something like that, but the, the difference between that and make it into the major leagues or like becoming a professional comes down to your own steam. How much are you going to invest? There are all the materials are there. Everything is there for you. You just have to go out and hunt for some of the stuff that can't be included in every single education because there's simply too much of it. You can't take one course and then know everything about software engineering. Some stuff due to the fact that this is, there's not enough time and some stuff due to the fact that you will only learn how to do that when you actually actually work with it when you actually do the thing yourself and that's the thing that you should focus on I don't think that you will ever find a university or a boot camp that is so advanced that it's going to you know, teach you everything that now, now you're sort of ready to call yourself a professional but they will give you the basics and if you look around a little bit there are plenty of people who are going to t give you hints and tips on what to look at above the thing that you're doing in the university or the boot camp so do you learn a well-rounded set of skills that will lead to getting someone take, to take a chance on you in the industry because you have potential and hunger and all or talent and all this sort of stuff that I've been talking about. And if you, when you get to that level, then I, the, then getting to be a software developer is not that much of a leap anymore. Have a great day.